Now let's know something about bypassing the firewalls and explore the Windows firewalls existing on each Windows machines and how can it be configured and how does it work. The peer-to-peer -peer file sharing programs, the programs that are called torrent sometimes, the programs that are like Kaza, iMesh and something like these programs, these programs may introduce security weaknesses inside your machine. It's a hole in a firewall because they are sometimes dynamic in using their port number. So the firewall cannot catch every traffic coming out from them or coming to them. They can change the port number they are communicating and at the same time they can transfer data from machine inside the network to the internet, other machine in the internet. These programs can transfer any type of files, PDF files, MP3 files, MP4 files, audio files, video files, any type files that are existing on your hard disk inside the network to the internet. So you are giving away network information. You are giving away data from your machine to other machines. Sometimes you say to yourself that I'm giving away the data I want to do and I want to give away. This is not always correct. Sometimes these programs, such programs, give away information accidentally that you did not mean to give away. These programs are most of the time security drawback or security hole inside your network and they are sometimes not good for the security posture inside your defense systems and they are a problem for your firewall facing all the time. So you are establishing a firewall, configuring firewall and at the same time fighting it with such programs for file sharing to share songs and movies and maybe PDF files or something like this. Anyhow, there is nothing that is good for all and there is nothing that is evil for all. If you need these programs, if you are aware of the type of ports and aware of the mechanisms they are using and you are trusted and you are trusting them for the way they work, so welcome you can use them if it is not required that you transfer files through such ways so take care that these programs may bypass your firewall and may be a security hole inside your organization the modems take care of something as a security officer the more you are restrictive the more restrictive the site firewall policy the more likely the employees will use modems they will feel the firewall is fighting them they will feel the firewall is uh, standing between them and the internet is uh, forbidding or is uh, preventing them from accessing so much websites that they need to do their work. So the more restrictive you do, the more slow your network is, the more likely your employees will use the ISP modem, the USB modem to contact their internet service providers to be connected to the internet through their ISPs and without passing through your firewall to get more speed, maybe, to access more programs, maybe. So let's remember once again the balance between the access and the security. If you are restrictive, very restrictive, then it is more likely that your employees use the these modems. If you achieve the balance, then it is less likely that your employees think of using these USB modems. Let's have now a look at the Windows firewall. This is how the Windows firewall looks. Let's say the configuration of the Windows firewalls and see here that you have some inbound rules for the incoming traffic and some outbound rules for the outgoing traffic. Let's see here what are the types of programs that can send data from your machine and here what are the type of, of programs that can that your machine can receive data from. You can at any point of time configure a new rule for a program or a port number or a predefined rule or a custom rule and then think of the type of rule that you are trying to 
to configure for example if it is a port so is it TCP port or UDP port what are the type of the port you want to configure the rule for and then you configure it uh, and what is the action that you want to be taken what is the profile that you will give to this rule and what is the name that you will give to this rule to be added to the rules of the Windows firewall this these are the rules that the Windows firewall are using on my machine here these are the rules that the Windows firewall are applying to control the traffic coming out from my machine and arriving to my machine if you double click on any of these rules you will get more information about the type of the rule the name a brief text or a brief description about how the rule works what type of connection does it allow and the port numbers and the type of control it is applying on your machine at a certain point of time you can turn on or turn off your Windows firewall if you turn off your Windows firewall you you should be aware that your machine is now fully exposed to the internet any type of communication can take place between machines on the internet and your machine and then you are exposed to so many attackers on the internet that can attack your machine it is always advised that you turn on your windows firewall it is always advised that you keep these radio buttons on never turn off your windows firewall unless and it is mentioned here that it is not recommended unless unless you are completely aware of what you are trying to do you can also use some third-party programs to install more firewalls on your machine just like the zone alarm or any third-party software that can act as personal firewall on your machine you can explore the monitoring that your firewall is executing right now you can explore the connection security rules you can filter your rules inbound and outbound either by profile or by state or by group you will have a lot of rules as you can see on this on your uh, Windows firewall you do not need to understand every word and every rule but generally I think by now you have known a brief idea a broad idea about these rules and you can take your time to explore it line by line and try to ask yourself why this rule here what is it doing and what do I gain from it is it necessary do I have to enable it or do I need to disable it for some times thank you